Okay, so tempera paints, they, you know, it doesn't really matter. These are different than watercolors. They're going to not be sticky when they're dry. And um, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna be painting onto the surface. You did some drawing of some of the French curves and the different lines. So I would start with your lighter colors to your, to your darker colors. And whenever you have to change colors, go in and wash your brush out and, and make it dry on the paper towel. Avoid your, your black and your brown and your white until the very, very end. And I'll show you why. So I don't need to have it wet, but I'm gonna make sure it's not super wet. Okay, so now I'm gonna take this one and just kinda paint fast. I'm not trying to make it perfect, but I'm painting that French curve. I'm getting just a, the hint of what it might be. And I'm gonna paint, take some other parts of that and just bring it in here. I'm just at, since I'm using that color, I'm just adding randomly. Now I'm gonna clean up my brush, dry it off. If you'll notice, it doesn't ha really show any paint, so that means I've cleaned it up. So now I'm gonna start with my next curve. Now, you just wanna have a hint that they're there, because eventually these are gonna be destroyed anyways, so you really won't know that they're there. So I'm gonna, just I'm just making some lines, some areas that that I'm painting. Okay, so wash my brush out. Now you'll notice where I overlapped, the paint kind of mixes in because they're still wet. While it's still wet, you can do things like that. But if it gets dry like this guy, it's kind of not dry. Oh, well, I mean, it's kind of dry. It's not really mixing quite so much. It's just overlapping. All right. So. Down the brush. Oop, that's got more in there. So I'm gonna clean that out a little bit better. My brush has a little bit of a problem. All right. So I'm going to take this one. I'm just going to do some spots. I'm not going to actually do one of the French curves. I've changed my mind already, but now I'm not saying you have to use every single color, but you want to leave some white areas on the outside so that you have those little areas showing up. Okay, let's take this blue and see what we can do with these blue, this blue. Now this blue is going right on top of this orange, which we know doesn't work well, but because it's slightly drier, it's not really changing the color. Notice how it, the, the uh, blue is much darker than the other two colors so it starts to pick up a little differently. Wash that brush out. Okay, let's do some green. I'm doing all the colors just so that you can see what it looks like with all the colors. And as you can tell, I'm not really painting on top of other colors yet. Not, that's not really the goal here. The goal here is to get as much paint down as possible and fill up the space. Don't make like, look, I'm trying not to, if you get on the table, we'll, we're gonna have a paper top, paper underneath it. So, okay, so most of it is completely covered. Now I can use a black or a white. Let's try, let's try the black. And this time I'm gonna make, when I do this, I'm gonna to try to bring out my French curves again. Notice I'm moving fast. I'm not trying to move slow. There's a, there's, a, there's one right there. There's another one right there. 
there's one here. Put that up there. So now I'm gonna kind of just do this. I just wanna make some changes. Now, I don't think I wanna use my brown. Get rid of my, make sure my brush is as clean as it can possibly get before I use my white. And now I'm gonna use my white. And it's gonna drag into some other colors and so it's gonna change that white. So don't mix it inside the little container. Just let it, let it be. My black must be still in that. What choices am I making? I'm just, it's totally random. Now some of you might feel like you need to be small and short, but I'm not really wanting to. Okay, so now I'm gonna clean that brush up again. I'm just bringing out that yellow again. I like that yellow. So composition wise, you're gonna be looking at this guy right here because he's near the center and you repeated it. And then you've got the flow of your, your paper. This is gonna get cut up. So regardless of what you're do doing, this is just your first step of the process. Turn it off. 